Alright guys, welcome to your 38th biology video and in this video we're going to be finishing up the Krebs cycle because right now we are in step number 6, there's only 8 to go and whenever we left off, we left with a molecule called succinate. So what happens in step number 6 is the very first thing that happens are two hydrogen atoms from the succinate molecule are actually stripped off, so two hydrogens get stripped off and they're donated to another molecule called FAD. Now of course whenever you add two hydrogen atoms to a FAD molecule you end up with FADH. Now the reason that I wanted to point this out, actually FADH2 because there are two of course right here, and I wanted to point this out because even though we're not going to talk any more about this molecule right now, it's very important later on whenever we want to generate some more ATPs. So remember, if your teacher ever asks you what uh, step was FADH2 produced, you can say step number six. Actually, pretty important. So of course, now that this succinate went through a chemical reaction and lost some hydrogens, it's no longer called succinate. It's actually called fumarate. So F-U-M-A-R-A-T-E. Now that is all step number six, but I'm not gonna change I'm not gonna change my slide for step number seven because step number seven is incredibly easy. All you do for step number seven is you add a water molecule to fumarate and it actually makes a brand new molecule called malate. So this is step number seven right here. I can go ahead and separate it with a little squiggly line. You take fumarate, which was your new and improved succinate molecule, and you add a water to it, and you end up with malate. So now we can go ahead and take malate and move on to step number eight, which is our last step, thank God. M-A-L-A-T-E. So that's our starting point, and what happens in step number eight is malate gives a hydrogen to NAD, and of course, whenever this happens, it forms, can you guess, NADH, because it lost a hydrogen and NAD gained it, forming NADH, like I just said. And another hydrogen is also released, but don't worry about this one, it's just going to go ahead and float around, do whatever hydrogens do. And the important part is, this losing of hydrogens turns malate into, let me change my color, oxaloacetate. Now, if this molecule looks familiar, remember that this was the molecule in step number one that combined to form citric acid. So wait a minute, you're telling me that after all that time, we got back to a molecule that we started with in step number one? Well, what happens to this molecule right now? Does it just disappear? Well, no, this molecule actually attaches and forms another citric acid and repeats the whole entire process again. So that's why this entire thing is called the Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle because this molecule that pretty much was formed in the very last step is part of the molecule that gets combined into citric acid, which is of course the first step. So in the next tutorial, what I want to do is I want to take you guys through the entire summary and I want to show you guys a cool little diagram and it's going to simplify everything. So what I did is I pretty much went over the details of how every molecule becomes another molecule where everything gets created, all these NADHs, but in the next tutorial I'm going to summarize everything. So if you have any questions or any confusion, you guys are going to understand in the next video. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.